Hey everyone, I am Rek and today we are going to be taking a look at the Windows 11 Government Edition, a debloated and telemetry free Windows that is apparently developed for government use. So this Windows 11 Government Edition thing has been popping off recently which is apparently the version of Windows 11 LTSC which by the way is already quite debloated compared to the normal Windows versions that are used by individuals. So this version was supposedly built for the Chinese government with removed out of the box Windows applications and free of any telemetry services which sounds like the perfect ISO for gaming right? Well let's look at it in more detail first after all this whole Windows 11 government edition can possibly just be a hoax f1 ISO built with many of the security features disabled right at boot which is quite concerning concerning for a Windows edition made for an opposing government by Microsoft who is already spying on all of our data through normal Windows anyways. So I tried getting my hands on this supposedly debloated Windows edition only to find out that it's not even an actual ISO but it's a script or this .esd file that edits the usual or the normal Windows 11 ISO to debloat it which I mean at this point you might as well just use your own ISO and debloat it using one of the free tools available. Anyways, I personally couldn't install it on my VM no matter what I tried, it would just crash at the setup so I did the next best thing and that is to show you what it really is about by using a video that is made by a YouTuber called Eric Parker. His channel link will be in the description so you can check out the complete video there but as you can see that it really does say that it is the Windows 11 Enterprise G edition where the G is obviously for government. Now that can easily be modified and edited with a script so do keep that in mind as well. And if you go into the Windows specifications and you can see once again the Windows 11 Enterprise G edition and it has the Contoso written alongside it which is basically the pseudo company name that Microsoft uses. Also here's the start menu look with a couple of useful apps not like completely stripped down or anything and one interesting thing is that Microsoft Edge is removed which is quite a rarity actually in a lot of these custom ISOs. But if this Windows is made for the Chinese government then it does make sense to remove any of the software or applications applications that send telemetry to Microsoft. For comparison, here's the start menu of the normal clean windows install running on my brand new VM. Now another thing that we already talked about is the complete removal of Windows Defender. So it's not like disabled or anything, it's just completely stripped out and removed. Once again, Defender sends a lot of samples to Microsoft for security reasons, so it would so it would make sense on a Windows edition such as this one but for normal use it makes the Windows susceptible to a host of vulnerabilities. Talking about vulnerabilities, the only tutorial that I could find on how to actually use this Windows Government Edition was on this Russian website where some Russian dude has posted the tutorial along with all of the scripts and any of the steps that you might need. I would not recommend downloading this script on your normal machine because it could have malicious code running inside of it so if you're gonna be going ahead and giving this Windows 11 Government Edition a try then make sure to do it inside of a virtual machine or any spare machine that doesn't have any of your personal Data. Now let's talk about its performance enhancements and here is the number of processes at boot which is quite low compared to the clean windows 11 install that I'm running on the VM as you can see. As for the memory use it uses around 2GB of RAM which is more or less the same as my other windows 11 install as you might be able to see on your screen. Well the windows has been stripped down and a lot of the telemetry services have been removed including removal of Bing searches from the start menu that still doesn't mean that it doesn't send packets or telemetry as discovered by Eric in his video. But the worst part about this Windows 11 government edition is probably the removal of MS Paint. Like that's a complete deal breaker for me. When this supposed Windows 11 government edition launched, many speculated that it was probably another slipstream edition, the lack of telemetry and bloat made it seem as though it was a version built by Microsoft themselves. However, there have also been the accusations of it being made by the creator of Tiny11 which if you don't know is a custom ISO that is geared more towards the gaming community. However, since Microsoft have neither confirmed nor denied the existence of the Windows 11 government edition and we already know that the Windows 10 government edition does exist and actually for the Chinese government at that so it has become quite difficult to verify whether this is legit leak or whether it's been just modified by some individual. Another thing to keep in mind is that although this Windows edition is supposedly built for the Chinese government, the Chinese government is actually completely switching to Linux due to it being open source which is actually what a lot of the government 
around the world use too since Linux provides you the whole control over your complete operating system. This further raises the question of Windows being made into a specialized version or at least its legitimacy in terms of being actually used by the government. So using a piece of software such as Windows that is already closed source and modding it for supposedly the Chinese government then having it leaked online seems pretty much like the perfect recipe for a disaster. But I'll let you be the judge of it since nothing suspicious has been found in the Windows itself as of yet. So should you be using this Windows 11 government edition? Absolutely not. Could you use it? Well of course you can. You can use it for gaming actually. You can install it on your VM or any other spare machine. Just install your drivers and you are pretty much ready for gaming. But once again make sure that you don't run it on your main machine. And that is the only concern that I have with it because it can be spying on you. Especially the script that is used to modify the ISO. I personally wouldn't trust that. But if you don't want to use a suspicious Windows ISO and want to optimize your Windows then go ahead and check out this video right now. Now.